someone from chat asked if I'm cosplaying uh, as Queen Ingrid right now. And I want to say I'm living, actually, as Queen Ingrid. Yeah, it's not cosplay. It's, it's just your daily just, life, right? It's my life. I walk around the office like this. <laughs> <laughs> Peasants. <laughs> Low county control. Uh, well, you know, our, 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 our marshal's going. It's just really taking his sweet time. Yeah. Uh, powerful vassal demanding seat on the council. Well, that's fine. He likes us quite a lot. So we can, we can deal with that. Well, it's because we granted him a county. So he's, uh, he's pretty okay with just, you know, chilling out for a bit. He does have very high diplomacy. So we could, we could switch him out for this guy who sucks. How's our crown authority? Because when we're this loved, well, I hear... So, as a tribe, we have tribal authority, which is uh, a little... Uh, a weaker version of crown authority. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are still still four different levels. Uh, so we could upgrade it. Uh, it costs prestige, uh, and it depends on our rulers learning how much it costs. For do us, we have, do we have enough prestige to take coconuts yet? Uh, I don't think we do. Oh. Uh, I believe we need more. Also, we're, we have, hmm. we're raiding them right now, so we can't. I want to change my tribal authority, but I also want to follow the king's orders. Well, the one we're looking for the prestige is more that we want to get to the next level of fame. We need to be illustrious, I oh, believe, not just distinguished. So we can still spend it because your level of fame outside of very specific actions doesn't decrease when you spend regular prestige. Then let's raise that tribal authority. We can raise it, uh, Tribal rules with non-tribal lieges may settle becoming feudal. Plus, that is not us, though. We are a tribal ruler, and we are our own liege. Exactly. Plus, complaining about the authority level gives vassal something to do. And exactly. I think, that's nice. exactly. I think with the first level, they're not going to be upset. They're just not going to be happy. They used to be happy by you know plus ten. Now they're just at a regular constant, which is you know not not ideal, but you know it's it's better than nothing. Uh, let's see. I was just thinking if we could try and murder uh, this guy again, but someone we can't asks for a while. about dueling, and I haven't seen dueling in, in CK3 So yet. there's some, uh, there's like, different events based on your prowess, where we weigh them up with each other, uh, as well as when you're fighting, you know, the prowess is the representation of how good people are as knights or champions, whatever flavor name for them, uh, for your culture. So there's less of the direct dueling of CK2, where it was the like pop-up events and you'd weigh up the two numbers like that, mm. but some uh, jewels like that do still exist. It's harder uh, to know what's going to happen And now. we also have a, we have a, like in, in the, the script, a concept of just a stat jewel, uh, where you can do like a jewel of, of martial learning, and that's just like, like weighted chance of success based on how smart you might be. So we have uh, unlocked a martial perk, so we yes. can use that to, but we can try and finish the tree, uh, and then we can get the gallant trait, which will give us finish martial tree. prowess, monthly prestige, and attraction opinion, because everyone likes someone who has true nobility from the actions you've done. And look at our sweet beard, we are attractive, we should get we are, that. We are pretty hot. Uh, like, look at that beard, that is majestic. Yeah, I like the number of elastic bands in it. I mean, it's it's fancy braids, you know. Uh, we can have a look at ourselves in the barbershop. Uh, we could we could change our crown or clothing. Uh, we can also we, we could, <gasps> I can force them to be ginger. You can is that an option? <laughs> force gingerness. No, I'll, I'll, I'll leave him as he is. Wait, wait, wait. the king is. is here. King. Oh, okay, well, the king. Here dare, you go. Dare you mock my twisty ties in my beard? <laughs> <laughs> I have a majestic beard. Twisty ties or no? Twisty ties are needed for the beard, exactly. really. I mean, it holds it all together. That's how I would style my so beard. So stop whining about it. Oh, God. Someone's asking, uh, they want to talk religion forming. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can give them a small sneak peek, although we we're can, not... We can have a look at what it would cost us to reform the We're not ready yet. The faith. We don't we're have enough there. piety. <laughs> we have very much not enough piety, but... Uh, if we were just to reform uh, as is, so just to stop being an unreformed faith, it would cost us 2,500 piety, basically. Uh... So, yes, quite a bit. We also need to hold three of the holy sites of the faith. Uh, so. And how many do we own, Matt? Um, we, we don't, really. I, would, that I don't be think. A, would that be a zero? Uh, us, personally, we don't own any, so that's a slight issue. And it doesn't help that they're also mostly up here. Ooh, Uppsala, yeah, that's a bit north. So, there's uh, Uppsala, Leo, and Alandheim. Whoa, uh, I totally. M go back, zoom out again. What is happening beneath us? Oh, that's that happens. What the Catholics? Uh, or is it? Is this the realm? Uh, oh, no, it's this the religion. Ah, uh, it's the religion. I thought for a second they. Yes, that well, that well-known realm Catholic. What did you say about <laughs> the Catholics? 
<laughs> Hello, Mr. Pope. What did you oh say about the Catholics? <laughs> we want to adopt your religion. Well, I suppose that's fine. I mean, let us in. You know, that is, you know, you have I to mean, prove yourself worthy of the how, religion. How, how first. close does he look like to the current Pope? Same. I, I, I am the Pope. I mean, of course, of course. <laughs> of course. What are you what talking was I, about? What are we talking about? I mean, same exact person. <laughs> the exact same. So, okay, so our spy master didn't find anything, so we can ask him to keep going, but, ah. you know, probably not going to find anything, so we'll just ask him to disrupt schemes, which will make people plotting against us have a harder time. Uh, which, you know, I'm pretty on board with, because I am mm -hmm. personally not a fan of getting murdered. Uh, it's not something I enjoy on a regular basis. On a, on a regular basis, just uh, occasionally. Every now and then, it's, it's just fun. Once in a while. Once, once in a blue moon, you know, someone stabs you a little bit, and you're like, oh, well, that was fun. Someone asked if anyone from the CK3 team is hungover from yesterday, and I would I, like to I, be the first to say no comments. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not look at what time I arrived at the office today. <laughs> there was a uh, there was there was a celebratory feast in the <laughs> gathering hall. In, yeah, in, in our in our gathering hall that we have. In there our was gathering a, hall. There was a there was a nice celebratory feast, and it was pizza. It, ooh, oh, I didn't. I stopped paying attention, and these people started fighting our raiders. That's not great. Um, that's not ideal, Matt. No, that's really not great. How about you run maybe, over here, please? Um, maybe get your shit together. Well, I sort of stopped looking. Oh, and I think they killed someone. Someone says for the mother Russ. Oh, they slayed. Uh, they well, on the plus side, they killed the guy that we wanted to murder. Um, oh. And uh, yeah. How fortuitous. So that's somewhat lucky. Um, this is what I'm saying. Send the people you don't like with with their tiny armies on suicide missions. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, so I, I probably should have kept my eye a little bit more on that. But eh, oh well, we didn't lose too much money from it. It's called vassal control. And our troops are mostly still alive, so that's fine. Uh, we do need to appoint a new chancellor, though. Uh, this guy he's is. He's got lots of chances. Well, he's, he's apparently about to die, so I don't really care about him that much. Uh, we could recruit someone as our guests, uh, or we could. It's expensive for oh, nine he's the, chancels. Yeah, we don't really have any powerful just, vassals. Just hire expensive. him. I, we'll, we'll just have him, and then you know, we'll just take the hit when he eventually dies. But that's fine. We can just reappoint someone. Someone says that was not very cash money of the enemy, and I have to agree. It wasn't. I, I was personally not a fan of how they did that. I thought it was pretty rude. So I have a fun fact about the Rurik dynasty. Ooh, hit me with it. I love fun facts. So no pressure, but they actually ruled until 1610. <laughs> but no pressure, Matt. I am sure you... Oh, there we go. Our chancellor died. A person who is acceptable at CK3 uh, can take us excuse there. Excuse you? Acceptable. <laughs> I'll have you know that I am the only person on the planet with every CK3 achievement. Wow. Because I implemented the system, so I debug gave them all to myself to test if it worked. Although it's been out for a full day now, so I would also question hey, whether hey, that's I, still true. I mean, I had all those achievements for months before anybody else. Like, just, just, just saying... Uh, before we had an achievement hunting uh, series, and I think Matt's got so sad about never getting any <laughs> achievements on that. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you had to rig the system. Well, I mean, it was. Uh, I. You say rig the system. I say testing it. Whoa, Matthew, whoa, 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 the Pope is here. Matthew, Ooh. cheating is a sin. <gasps> <laughs> You're never going to be a Catholic at this rate. Oh no, my other army got. You're going to have to stay alive. I was running away. That's fine. We can beat that one. Uh, my counts. Yeah, all of our counselors uh, died. That uh, the. The very sickly chancellor. Uh, so we need to find a new chancellor, but everyone kind of sucks. So I yeah. guess we just end up having to recruit one of our guests. I mean, our courtiers, we are, are not particularly, none of them are particularly great at diplomacy either. And one thing about CK3 is it's much harder to just spam invite people to court, yes, that's unfortunately. A, that, was a, that was a conscious decision uh, for the design of that because... As you say, in CK2, you could just open up the, the character finder and just invite pretty much anybody because you could just throw gold at them. Whereas now, you know, we wanted people to come through the wandering system as guests and then invite them from that. So it's actually people yeah. with a reason to be there instead of me just going, okay, filter by all, sort by diplomacy. I used to do that. And I just go just, character shopping like you, know, you. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, people are very unlikely to join you, which is one of the reasons that uh, with the filters, there's not a will join court filter because the answer is pretty much always no, unless you have a hook. Gustav has a good suggestion, though. Um, marry Ooh. a courtier to someone with good stats. That is that is still a valid option. That's a still a valid way to shop for good courtiers. Uh, we can have a look at some of our courtiers. Uh, well, this woman is about to leave our court. Uh, she is 
Well, okay, no, she's not. She's lying. She's yeah. uh, Unless our son is about to leave, which he probably shouldn't. He can, but it would be upsetting. Someone is asking how to change your uh, capital, and it should be an option uh, in yes, your so uh, window, as right long as you're... Here. Move realm capital. Yeah, but I think you have to be at peace and some other stuff as well. Yes, I, I think that is also a requirement. So let's look through our court and see if there's anyone that's uh, aggressively single that we can marry off. Not just single, aggressively single. Aggressively single. single. We, don't really ha we don't actually have that many courtiers that aren't our, our concubines. <laughs> we have a lot of concubines and then our family. Uh, <laughs> What, what does it say about us that our court is just mainly women who are married to us? Well, this one's comely as well. Leaves. We could we can you know invite her at least. Uh, we could set aside one of our ugly concubines and take this uh, pretty one. Uh, she's cynical, lazy, and stubborn, but Do it. Sh she's hot though. So. Do it. Okay. Set but who should we set aside? That's a good question. Uh, well, let's ask the chats. Okay. Do we want to get rid of? We have Vasilia, Vasilia? With, the, with the good marshal. We have Olga with the good cheekbones. Olga and we... with the good cheekbones, but she's old and delicate. Ugh. And we have Zygno. I, I mean, she's not even an option. We're not getting rid of the ginger one. That's <laughs> Matt's, not happening. Matt's I in love. Matt's in love. I refuse guys. that. Uh, like, this is this is. <laughs> I, I'm putting my foot down. Okay, but uh, you know, we c Olga or Vasilia. Okay, chats. Do we g set aside Olga or Vasil v Vasilisa? Vasilisa. Someone says, Stacey, when you court a lover, this is not what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Because, <laughs> yeah, we want to we get the, the comely one. Yeah, man. We want to get them good stats into the gene pool. Mare is pleasant to look at. Chad is all saying Vasilisa. Vasilisa. They we like keep, Olga and her nice cheekbones. Want to keep the nice cheekbones, so... Uh, She's out. We're dismissing our concubine. Lose 20 opinion and she leaves our court because we set her aside. Bye, girl. Goodbye. Now, now you, you, you can join our court, please. Have these... Concubines been having any kids? Like, where are all the babies? Yeah, I, I, we're not, we're not making many kids. Uh, is what I've discovered so far. We, Fate has our, not. Our, our son has had a kid at least. Oh, thank uh, God! He needed an heir and a spare. Or, or a granddaughter even. I guess we have no uh, inheritance issues if we have no more kids. Yeah, that's what I was sort of thinking. I was kind of like, I'm kind of on board with uh, not having any of them. You know, make any kids. It's kind of alright. Well, just so that we have someone in the slot, I'm going to recruit this quarter. It's only three gold. Someone says swiping left on Vasilisa. <laughs> I mean, Sorry, th girl. that's like an extra hard swipe. That's not even like a swipe left. That's someone we're already <laughs> with, and then we're like, in real life, just moving her to the left. Exactly. Just like, like, that's just extra brutal. She shows up to her room and all her boxes are packed. And we're like, so... Do you think our guy, because he's so honorable, he'd break up with her himself? Or do you think he'd like he'd send well, a servant? Well, he's he's he, to be he, like... he's he's gregarious and ambitious and just. So you know he he might might speak to her, but he'd he said Ingrid. Know. It's a, yeah, you might <laughs> say Ingrid. Ingrid Ingrid is strong, intelligent. She's brave, just, and wrathful. Ingrid would probably be laying down the law. I think uh, this guy is a powerful vassal who doesn't expect anything from us because he is mighty scared of us. Uh, yes, he is. But due to our our dread. Oh, no, not any longer. It's gone down. Be I think you just. Because there are some people that are so cowardly that even just by default, they don't expect you to give them anything. Uh, which, him being a kid, might contribute to that. Yeah, when he ages up. When he actually. ages up, he'll start getting salty at us. Because mm. I knew there was another uh, vassal who was uh, not joining any factions due to the fact that they were. Just Maybe we should just so murder scared of us. everyone as they become adults, so we only have child vassals. <laughs> because they don't, only keeping kids. They I don't mean, join it's an option. factions. I mean, sometimes you gotta kill it's children. It's called strategy. So when someone called our child only vassal strategy the Peter Pan strategy. Oh, which the I Peter Pan strategy. Love. Oh my God, that's great. Trademark that. Yeah, can we? Can we? Like, can, we can we copyright this idea? Like, this sounds great. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Peter Pan strategy. Outside of the kids, most people like us. Uh, Oh, we could we could uh, offer to be the guardian of this guy. Yeah. And he will accept. And then. And he should then like him. us a bit as well. Uh, oh, I thought murder. Oh, we can try and step. convert his faith. Is unlikely yeah. due to the. Ah, oh, okay, so they're a little bit too old to get converted, but that's Gotta enough get for young. <laughs> next time in the Peter Pan strategy. This guy's only fifteen, so maybe with him we can uh, we can we could we can sort that out. Frozen Yakman asks if you can still elevate mayors to uh, counter above Ooh, and if there's any advantage. Look, there we go. This one, because he's young enough, we can we can convert his faith. Yes, do it. Which is uh, welcome to being good. a we got, cool got to spread Viking. It out. Spread out the Vikings, you know. It's what all the cool kids are doing these days. Uh, uh, is it true? Welcome to it. You're now cool. Becomes your board will become a cool ass Viking. And we're saving people from lameness. 
all yes. over the continent. But um, uh, Matt, I was uh, asking a, yes. uh, a question Go from Frozen it. Yakman. Um, uh, can you elevate mayors to count rank or above? Because I'm also interested. Uh, I think so. I don't think anything prevents We don't really have any, but I, I no. don't believe there's anything that prevents that from happening. Uh, maybe. Is there any advantage or is it just... I mean, you'll get a like a Republican vassal because yeah, that exactly. is their government. Like they are a, like a republic. But I don't think that it's... It's not a huge benefit because uh, as a tribe, you know... Like they, they provide like republics and uh, provide pretty much a constant rate of of uh, like money and levies. Uh, they don't really have too much variance compared to tribes or compared to feudal, where they have the feudal contract or clans uh, with the uh, opinion. Uh, so yeah, explain the Peter Pan strat. So that's what someone has come up with. I don't remember which user came up with it because I'm not really staring at. Chat. They called it Peter Pan uh, strats so that we keep all of our vassals yes. too young to join factions or do anything because, against us. Because as you can see here. Uh, it's not possible to start or join a faction whilst being underage. So if you just constantly murder people once they have a kid and become old enough, you'll never have Problems. people forming factions. You'll have issues, other issues by the fact that you're killing them and also they can't be on your council. So you'll have to have, find oh, yeah. a bunch of other people. Oh no, having to hire the council based on skills instead of just well, anger. It's, it's also that they'll, uh, on average, be slightly worse counselors because just random uh, unlanded people don't uh, progress through the lifestyle system uh, in the same way. Right. So if you actually do have rulers, they can actually be useful. Okay, and we got That is a huge speech. change from CK2, actually, with uh, all of the ru um, rulers uh, getting like a lifestyle trait. They actually get good at something for once. Yes, they actually don't suck, which is yeah, nice. Yeah, in CK2, they were always like, put me on the council. I have 20012. <laughs> and I was always like... Advisor. <laughs> yeah, uh, advisor position. Uh, Welcome to advisor. So this guy, we can we could grant this uh, holding off to someone else as well. Uh, we could grant it to this uh, vassal we have. I think he's the one we're converting uh, to be a different faith. No, that was as, as, no, as the, the ten-year-old. Aza, Aza, but his name was different. Uh, his name was Aza something. That was the other one, the one that we're not converting because we have our two wards. Uh, okay, I see. I guess he changed names. But we could also just grant it to, uh, let's see, we can see what okay. it suggests, who we suggest that we grant it to. Uh, mostly guests. We could give it to our, our uh, chancellor, uh, the one we invited over. I mean, yeah. we could we could find him a spouse first. I we think. love Everkey. Uh, find him a spice that a spouse that also a has spice? good, a spice. What spice? A spice. Uh, that oh, we could marry him to a giant. Yes. Absolutely. That is, there is, you Look know, at that that's the woman. only thing. Uh, they are both... Lowborn, woman. that's fine. He will become landed after we do this. There we go. Excellent. The marriage has occurred. We can grant him some land. And now, now he has got his own dynasty and he's going to make Everkey. some wonderful giant kids. And she's a theologian. Now ah, she's a bit ill, but okay. Well, well, severe penalty. Maybe not a bit <laughs> ill. Maybe, maybe quite ill. Well, severe penalty, so... Not great, not great. But he'll be able to now search for a physician for himself, and, you know, the physician will probably help her out. Make her, you know, not just die. Which is always... You know, I personally always find it nice when my wife doesn't die. Ooh, my, uh, my vassal high chieftain, uh, Kiro, has arrived outside my castle with a grand procession of well-dressed diplomats, champions, and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade led by Kiro himself. In a booming voice, Kiro announces that he is there to pay homage and that he comes bearing gifts of gold. Yes. Such generosity is hard to find in a subject. Kiro's loyalty is truly something else. Please enter, deposit the gold on your left, <laughs> pays us 50 gold, he, uh, we gains 50 in opinion of you, and we gain 75 just, prestige. Just put it to the left, thank uh, you. Why, surely you have more gold to give. We gain 75 gold instead of 50. He loses the opinion of us, we gain prestige, mm. and we gain critical amounts of stress. Uh, because we are just. Or we can tell him to keep the gold and that surely his friendship is enough. Um, as he, or he already likes us a lot, so no, give us the money. <laughs> <laughs> to the left, to the left. <laughs> Please this deposit is your my money. Right. Oh, our concubine is. Oh, the ginger concubine <gasps> is bearing our child. Yes. It's Matt's dream. You better, you better give true. us a ginger kid. You probably won't, but. Okay, uh, Chieftain Boris is now. Uh, he's become a thrifty clerk. My ward, Chieftain Boris, has come of age and it's time he left my care. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Boris the intricacies of administration. All efforts have come to naught, however. Few would be impressed by Burn. his understanding of the subject, but he has at least developed a sound grasp of the basics of management and the beginnings of a sensible frugality. While not an excellent result, 
I'm sure his parents will have no complaints. Well, his parents are dead, so I they hope won't he have said complaints. this to Boris's face, including the parents part. Yeah, like I'm th- sure your parents will have no complaints. This is, this is also the guy whose dad we sent off to die in battle after we didn't murder him. <laughs> the, the, I'm sure his parents will have no complaints because no com- they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Boris won't. This this won't until come back we meet to again, us. Boris. Well, he's also now now he wants to see on the council. Uh, you know, he, now that he's old enough, he's he's now a little pissy. Uh, but he kind of kind of sucks at everything. <laughs> so I kind of don't want to give him anything. Someone uh, asks, "What if our wife give, makes us gingerbread?" Get it? Cause she's breeding. I mean, gingers. I'd also like some gingerbread. That'd be great. Gingerbread biscuits are delicious. <laughs> we'll 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 try and sway him a bit. We'll see if we can like try and uh, keep that mentor relationship we had with them going, and if he'll he'll like us. And whilst we have some gold, I'm going to search for a physician just so if we get ill, we can uh, easily try and recover a bit. Uh oh, Chad's rallying behind Boris, and they say, "Don't bully Boris." You you all want Boris to have responsibility. Boris is incapable of anything. <laughs> look look at him. He Ooh. sucks at everything. He's an- He's an acceptable steward. He's an average steward. Our current steward is already better and also loves us. Yeah, Bobo. He didn't learn too much. But to be fair, Bobo we, is we were in charge crap. of teaching him. So <laughs> We were, but it's not our fault that he's... Who like, are we, we roasting here? I mean, we, we, we're good at fighting. We're also pretty good at stewardship ourselves, right? He's just... I blame him. I think this is a him problem. People saying Boris is trying his best. Boris for king. <laughs> Boris for king. Absolutely not. I refuse. <laughs> All right, well, we're recruiting a court physician, so the world is full of dangers, even to a king in his court. Uh, as per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they've assembled a few options uh, for me to choose from. This guy looks we very have young. Alexandru, who's 22, but he's also got a level 2 lifestyle physician trait, so mm-hmm. he's uh, pretty good. He's also quick, uh, charismatic negotiator, pretty z- uh, zealous, chaste and deceitful, but that's, that's not too bad. Uh, and we have Liga, who is just a bit crap. <laughs> I would take Alexandru. Well, he well that's the difference. He costs fifteen gold. Well, fifty. She costs fifteen. But I think I think if we're gonna have a physician, having one that is like, like quick and like a trained physician, a little better than this random lady, who just does nothing. Yeah, I think Alexandru is our man. And we can also then you know we can we can find him a wife as well. And he's know? chaste, so he probably won't sleep with our wife. That's always good. Uh, we can we can try and find a wife. We oh, can the, find. Oh, she the is. The king is here, Matt. The ooh, king is here. The king is here. <coughs> I am feeling a little under the weather, so we should <laughs> maybe hurry up this physician. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandru, it is. The glorious Alexandru has been hired. There we May go. May he keep us alive forever. And our county control over there is slowly but surely increasing. Ooh, a proposed alliance from who? Who are you? A ch- this no, no random way. Random chieftain. No, we want to fight Despite him. Despite our lack of bonds by blood, I believe we both stand to gain from an alliance. I propose that we join forces. Um, I'm no. going to say no because we could also We want to take that land. Yeah, we want to no. invade this. So What would we get from that alliance? Five troops? Bye. Yeah, he doesn't exactly. he's not exactly sitting there with a lot of stuff, is he? He kind of, kind of, kind of crap himself. Well, also, I want to also point out that Boris was the one that we wanted to murder, right? Or and not. I still want to. Do you still want to murder Boris? But Chad uh, is very against it. Chad likes Boris. Oh, we're already scheming against. Oh, we're trying to make Boris like us. And uh, you know I'm easily peer you can pressured. Abandon that and let's see what's our murder scheme like. Fifty-six percent success chance. Not great. Uh, not great. Uh, also not very secret. So we, uh, yeah, might want to not. Murder him right away. <laughs> Chad is very emotionally invested in Boris, so uh, Boris. Yeah, what are I your feelings on 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 uh, Boris? Chat. Would you like us to k- k- kill him, or we can continue to sway him and make him try and make him our friend? Okay, you, yeah, kill or sway, Chat. You, you better not harm my sweet baby Boris. I mean, <laughs> right. sometimes for the good of the realm, you've got to you got to do things. Boris is love. Boris is life. <laughs> sweet baby Boris. Sweet baby Boris. bouncing So we actually can't... So we are... That we took under our wing. You, you better We are not both bisexual. We can head. seduce Boris. I mean... Hmm. Seduce hmm. Boris. Guys, third option. I'm going to talk to the Boris. Pope and I'll get back to you, all right? We could also... We could try and romance him as well, which is more of a... Okay, le- wait. Which is more of a, you know, a, like mean, a courtly love instead of just like a... I mean, as the I Pope... I want shag you love. As the Pope, I, I have no problems with this. With with romancing another man. Yes, Seduce forty exactly. five percent success chance, not great. Uh, romance hundred percent success <gasps> chance. I mean, 
Well, we've there's only one option then, surely. We've the got a romance wants, Boris. What I mean, the, the heart wants, and the heart wants but Boris. But Chad is saying uh, seduce. Seduce? Well, I mean... And seducing... We can romance and then seduce him. Like That's true. We romance and then we seduce. Yeah, we, we can, you know, lead with the smooth, like, you know, oh, I'm a lovely king, and, you know, I, I would love to, you know, defend your honor, and then, you know... Yeah. Get him back in the bedroom and then we'll defend your the honor. shit out of you. We'll defend your honor, Boris. Don't worry about it. Exactly. And then we kill him. Romance in the streets, seducing the sheets. Exactly. There we go. We've started Excellent. a romance scheme against Boris. And that will also stop him from uh, trying to join factions and be pissy about us as Ooh, well. Ooh, okay, so there's some options here. Yes. Declaration of love. The time has come to let my feelings towards Chieftain Boris be known. I want him to remember this day for the rest of his life. Oh, yes, we do. We can secretly plant a letter to his chambers declaring our undying love. We can write a love poem. We can impress him by winning a sparring match, or we can go with my gut in the moment. So mm. Boris is just greedy, arrogant, and through. So he likes money, basically. Chats, what do you think? Letter, love poem, or uh, sparring match? So we are, we are a fighter. So yeah. we'll probably do pretty well in winning a sparring match and flexing but our v v many, many muscles. A love poem would be hilarious. A love poem would be especially hilarious because our learning is bad. And learn we have a wonderful system made by uh, one of our content designers, Peta, which is a, a dynamic poetry system. But the which chat will very much depend on your learning and diplomacy. So our learning is a bit bad. So it could be a, a questionable poem but the chat says sparring okay okay they say, chat go, says sparring. They say never go with your cut and they impress say, him go with what you i know. recruit one of my most senior soldiers and set out for puskov I, yep i'll pretend i can say these words we practice our routine after each day's ride once we arrive we begin to spar in the main courtyard a crowd gathers and their chairs soon draw none other than the graceful chieftain boris Whee! the soldiers fight valiantly but i disarm him with a final flawless thrust i kneel before boris and declare my noble intentions. I dedicate this victory to you, King Rurik. Bring your honor is my only desire. Boris' reaction is not what I hoped for. Have you gone mad, my liege? What are you suggesting? Oh no, Boris! Boris! Repulsed by our advances. Boris, we, we killed someone <laughs> We end for our you. scheme. Well, it was a duel. It was like a sparring match. We didn't oh, okay. murder anyone. So Boris now likes us a bit less. Maybe if we had murdered them. Um, And he, he, he has made <laughs> his disdain clear for us. So now we can't... We can't. Uh, now, but now we have to kill him. So yeah, I guess now we now we have to kill. Sorry, him. but if Boris won't love us. There's only one option. <laughs> yeah, like this is worth the stress. Uh, we can we can have a look at if we can get some extra agents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, Oleg. Well, it wasn't meant to be. We can but bribe that's Oleg fine. with baby Boris. Now poor, baby Boris. Poor baby Boris. Fucking Boris. Now, now Boris. Boris, must die. Boris. Now, now Boris must die. Now Boris must 79% die. Seventy-nine percent success chance. Ninety-four percent secrecy. I'm okay with it. Sixteen months. Boris will be dead. The peasant rabble slowly but surely ticking up. Uh, they're gonna send an ultimatum in one month. Uh, they have very bad military power, though. Uh, it's it's yeah. This is the problem. Just with crush them. Yeah, we don't have very good popular opinion, but I'll I'll just crush them when they eventually do yeah. this. It's it's fine. Peasant revolts are dime a dozen. Yeah, they are. When you when you're not liked that much uh, as we very much aren't, it it does. Yeah. It do be like that sometimes. You feel. I played a very an extremely inbred run through, and people weirdly don't like you when you're inbred. That's strange. And peasants revolted all the time. But I love the go. idea that they were revolting just because they were like mad there that I was ugly. The peasant rabble starts the war. Every county in the faction, the control level will change by minus twenty five. Peasant uprising, because you don't want to get constant peasant uprisings as well, because it does it does actually hurt your control of the areas. So I'm gonna make a uh, couple of rally points. Uh, Someone says unwashed masses intensify. <laughs> I would like to not have everyone raised at the same place. Uh, or actually, I can split them up in the middle, so I probably don't need to actually. Because yeah, we have bridges. This huge technology uh, bridges. Uh, yes. Pretty impressive. And it's nice er to... And they also suck, so they can't really uh, siege us down. Because they are crappy peasants. Which I'm on board with. Uh, let's see. Select you, standing still. You can go up. Uh, you can go take those ones on. There we go, that's fine. We, we don't have many levies, because we may or may not have lost, like, killed some of them through raiding. But that's not too big of an issue, because we have some nice bowmen... And we can just we can totally take these. Like they have they have nothing. They suck. We should probably create more men at arms. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change out our. Ooh, this guy's 
Yeah, recruit. Like, we're a great commander. Recruit that guy. What, what are you doing? That's way worse. Yeah, it. but he's, he's not that much better. Oh, he does have a raiding trace as well, so that's going to be pretty useful for recruit us in the him. future, actually. It's six dollars. Come on. I Don't mean, be so cheap. Oh, yes. The famous money of the, you know, 871 dollars. So, so one nice thing about <laughs> being a pagan is that the creating men-at-arms costs prestige uh, rather than gold. Yes, but it, the upkeep's also prestige, which lowers how you know much we increase over time. But I think we can get some... So the different men at arms, you know, they have different functions. Uh, I think, like, I wanted to get some light cavalry, but they aren't extra good. But they are, like, in the terrains we have here. But they're very good at running people down. This is what uh, the pursuit stat is. Is mm. after you win a battle, increases the amount of casualties in the aftermath. Because uh, the, there's two types of casualties from battles. Routed casualties, which basically are, you know, f troops that fled and are wounded. But, they, you know, they'll, they'll come back and fight again. And then fatal casualties, which, as the name implies... The dead ones. <laughs> Those are the deadies, as we call them. Yes. Uh, so we'd like to, and, and you know, having high pursuit increases the amount of uh, converting of router casualties into just dead ones. Uh, armored armored uh, footmen are just great at fighting uh, and uh, are pretty good counters to spearmen. But I think we'll get some horses. You know. Yeah. Everyone likes horses. Because they're cute. Especially you. You're a big fan of horses, right, Stacey? Yes. I think that they're nice animals. <laughs> One one time, one, one time, time I Stacey, went to horse camp. Stacy admitted, like, told us that she went to like a horse camp as a kid, and they've never let me lit like, what, live like, it down. Two and a half years, we've still not let you live that down. Also, it was not me that told you. You, I left my friend alone with you for one minute. Oh yeah, no, it was your friend who was visiting from Canada, and then she she informed us of this, and oh, our scheme has been discovered. No. no. Oh god, damn. No. Like, Bobo. we might just. Just, just, just throw them. It's an act of tyranny. That's not great, because then our vassals will start rebelling. Uh -oh. And we'll get a lot of dread. Damn it. <sighs> but this I want to kill... not great. But you can also... So the thing is, it sets it... You can... Um, when he gets the thingy, that's like, do you want to kill him now? You can say no. Yeah. It'll reset the timer, and we might be able to get new agents We can try again. Overtime. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Uh, so we have defeated one rebel army, and we're going to defeat the second pretty soon, which is good. Uh, advantage is not doing great for us right now because they have the unreformed pagan combat bonus as a defender, but we just have better troops than them, so we're gonna win still. Yeah. And then uh, smack them down. Ooh, we are the ginger lady has given birth to a ginger son, <laughs> a slightly strawberry blonde ginger son. But no, you know we have inheritance problems now, right? Count. Stop celebrating. Uh, we won't lose that much stuff. I can disinherit him as well if I need to. Yeah, Matt. No, name him Matthew. Of course. Of course, he will be Maybe named Matthew. Oh, strong and wise, my son. Matthew Rickson. Boris stands are super help happy that uh, Boris has outwitted us. They say Boris is too powerful. <laughs> that is that is not true. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take the long way around because I don't want to take that river crossing penalty. Uh, ooh, and then we can unlock uh, a new light M marshal perk, so we can get the gallantry. We can finish off this tree, yes. which gives us martial prowess, monthly prestige boost. I have a personal goal nice. because I haven't done it yet to get uh, all three of the traits on a lifestyle. So, uh, th like that is that's very difficult. That I is know. pretty hard, but it is possible. I love to set I really. I think it is just about possible. ambitious goals. So what we can do is, uh, you know, we're still going to keep uh, getting XP in the marshal because we uh, like the cooldown for you know, Joni like for changing hasn't uh, hit for us yet but uh which part do you think we should go down next time i'm thinking overseer or strategist you know they how much we're going to be warring versus trying to maintain our land i'll let you think about that whilst i fight more peasants i think as we get more and more stuff overseer might be the best way but i do want to put the question to chats because i know there's a lot of brilliant counselors in our esteemed chats uh, strategist or overseer chats where should we go next yeah speed up time a little bit just so we can finish these rebels because as you see they, they've, they can't even siege us they don't have enough Someone says, oh. agent discovered ooh one of our agents in trying to kill Boris has been discovered Ugh. as I have fairies and normal think me a tyrant uh, not great but uh, hopefully he doesn't leak the fact that we're the one that wanted to do this uh, murdering if he did leak that I'd be very upset with him alright we have five minutes left five left. minutes left so so say, say you're Say your goodbyes, final thoughts. Oh, we're nearly about to, about to convert culture. There we go. And this convert, is nice. yes. They have converted to Norse, which is good. And he's, he started collecting taxes automatically, but I'm going to make him spread our culture a bit more. Because, you know, it, it takes five years, but 
Yeah. I kind of need it. We're making some progress. Yeah, exactly. Because, uh, you know, we want to keep our culture because oh. we get some we get some nice stuff like long ships. Only nearly everything was striped. <laughs> yes. We, 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 yeah, we're, 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 we're we might have immigrated, if you could call it that, uh, over here. Another agent discovered. Ooh. Uh, I think it's not going to work out. I, I don't think it's going to work out. Uh, yeah. I wanted you to do one thing, Matt. Okay. And that was murder the guy who rejected us. I mean, I'm trying. I okay. am trying. You know what? He's head of an army now, and that army has ten men in it. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! You doesn't been look promoted. like he's going to be doing great. He's attacking someone as well in a conquest, and he's not. He has two martial and seven prowess. So. Yeah, I'm hoping he dies. I he see is, an opening. But on the positive, he's an unyielding defender. <laughs> That's he, and he gives and he doesn't give up. Yeah, he's terrible at everything sword related. Well, I mean, refuses it, to give it, up. Which I find funny because his house motto is hope through the sword, but he's very bad at all things sword related. Yeah, you better hope hard, friend. <laughs> Compared to ours, which is the spirit of the horse grants us faith. <laughs> the, the the historical accuracy of some of these house mottos is, one might say, is questionable. A lot of them are randomly generated. Some are uh, prescripted based on history. But yeah, they are. the mottos can... Oh, wow, the, the Carlings are having an interesting time of it. Is the Carling motto uh, historical? I don't know. Uh, it's from, from all my heart currently. Hmm. But the the Carlings have definitely uh, oh they have a cadet Carling dynasty. Love is prosperity, but they are not doing too great. Just to let you guys know, we will be continuing with this playthrough. Yes, next we will continue week, with this save next week. Which is why we cannot just throw Bobo in jail. And yes, kill him. which is why we're not going to just imprison him and execute him because the amount of you, you see this lovely faction panel where there are no factions targeting us right now. It's really great if you can keep it like that. If you keep it like that, it's nice. Uh, and if we were to start executing people willy-nilly wouldn't wouldn't stay like Someone that Someone says boris is the head of the house and can we just well, can he's the head of his own house yeah oh, he's okay. like the only member i thought he was the head of our no house. no no he's a different dynasty to us thankfully <laughs> he is he is the head of his own house uh but his house sucks compared to ours ours is awesome and cool your house sucks boris boo. you suck boris boo we're not just hurt we're not yeah we're not hurt or bitter or anything <laughs> we promise we're, we're not that would never be us oh our wife really loves us yeah of course of course she does we're wonderful. I don't know why you say of course. Loyalty My wife's usually hate me. It's because, oh, it's because we have uh, the like the the perk tree we went down. One of the perks in here is uh, loyalty and respect, spouse opinion plus fifty. Oh, so gotta get that nice loyalty and boost. respect. Yeah, I mean it helps them not plot to murder you. Women only want one thing: loyalty and respect. I mean that's two things. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but it's one bonus. I mean, yes, that is true. I mean, they they come close together. But uh yeah, that's uh that's going to be about it from us this week then. Yeah. We are we hope you've enjoyed joining us on our <laughs> Viking expansions <laughs> and that is really traumatic to witness. I need this to stop. I Hi, can't. Everyone. Oh, I God. can't handle it. Yes, uh, it's, it's very it's a lot. Matthew Stacy, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and like you said, we will be continuing this uh, next week yes. hopefully. Um, I will hopefully. I I wore this crown the whole time and it was very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. But thanks to everybody that watched. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, tune next week for another wonderful episode. Again, I'm Troy, and we will see you then. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.